tight. Yo, what up? It's your boy Peter Yang. You already know what it is. It's Make It Rain Podcast. I'm your host, co-host, Peter, and this is... Hey, didn't uh, didn't Green, Green Bay lose last week? Hell no. Nah. They won, dude. But sadness uh, that Rodgers got hurt. Yeah. Oh, it was that game, right? Rodgers got hurt, and then the Jets won. Yeah, Jets they won. Yeah, Jets won. Oh. Yeah, man, it was, I was going simp mode on Rodgers. <laughs> simp mode on Rodgers. Man, because he was, for the for the longest time, he was the face of the franchise, you know? He was the face of the people, yeah. man. But face of the people, yeah. he trade he trade up, or he, he traded. He, man, a lot of, man, I was, I was, I was a Jets fan. fan. No, I was a Jets fan. I'm still a Jets fan, I think. Oh, yeah? I'm not sure if I'm I did not know. More after Rodgers got injured. Oh damn, bro! Man, he got a good check, man. Short career, gonna be healing for a minute. Yeah, sucks, man. Dude, can you imagine like you, you, your whole life you're just so obsessed about you know this one thing that you do. That's all you know how to fucking do, and then you get hurt, and then you can't do the one thing that you know your whole life is about. Whew. Must be devastating. Unfortunate man, you know he he won the reason why he got injured because of the uh, turf that they have on football fields now. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. So yeah. having turf on football fields, you're most likely going to get your injured. ACL torn. Yeah. So Damn. they're having this whole movement of where like they should only do football fields with grass. Example like soccer, right? How come they don't do turf on soccer? You know. Yeah. You know, because people get injured, you know, and now they're switching over to only grass on football. So that's kind of been on the going for football now. So less Damn, less, dude. You know. Turf is that fake grass, right? That plastic grass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. fake grass. Yeah. Nah, I was thinking about when I get a house, man, I'm going to do turf, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to have to cut grass because it's going to be perfect all the time, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. And, dude, he makes pretty good money. I think he averages, like, 10K per job Dang. on, a, like, a nice front yard. That's that's insane, dude. That's some good, good dough. Tight. I'm going to text you. I'm going to message you this profile chick, okay? This chick alone, this is my type. If you, if you want to ask my type, like, she is... Wifey, my type. Like, I will fall for this chick in a heartbeat. So that, maybe that's you can show that later. Yeah. 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 Uh, hey, hey, you wanna you wanna check the audio? Yeah, yeah. audio is low. My audio is low. Now a lot of echo. Oh fuck. All right, thanks, Ant. Thanks for the update, brother. We're going to fix that right now. We're going to fix the audio real quick. This is why we uh, kind of start soft and get the audio going. Hey, what up, Nacho? What's going on? Even uh, Nacho. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. To write down your what would you guys do with ten thousand dollars and we'll give you guys a shout out please um just what i would do with ten thousand dollars is um i probably just man ten thousand dollars is not a lot actually if i think about it 
but it's also enough for me to do something, right? Um, I don't know, man. Peter, what, what would you do for ten thousand dollars? I would put it in my life insurance policy. Max fund is what it's called. Because is that, is that really? Yeah, really you would do that. Yeah. It's how it's how I'm gonna pay for my house. It's how um. It's it's an asset. You know, your life insurance is actually an asset. It's a appreciating asset as well. It's very similar to. You can kind of compare the concepts to uh, real estate almost. Okay, how about this? How about how about you have to spend it on something in or a service, not like Oh dude, I'm buying I'm buying a Mazda Miata, bro. <laughs> Getting my convertible cuz <laughs> nah, man, I show you I show you the cars that I save on Facebook, dude. It's disgusting, dude. <laughs> Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Oh shit! I can buy two Mazda Miatas with, with ten grand, <laughs> or I can buy a shit car and a Mazda Miata. Man, hell yeah, dude! Shit. That's fair, man. That's getting me excited talking about it, man. God damn, bro. Um, Ant said that he will remodel his crib. I think that's a pretty good investment. Or he said he'll get a PC. Yeah, PC would be a good idea too, actually. Oh yeah. I, honestly, I think I'll probably get some some nice camera lens, and uh, probably buy a, like a shit car, like a manual car. I miss driving manual. <laughs> I think that'll be that'll be an ideal, like a two thousand dollar Honda Civic. A you know, that'll be yeah. kind of cool. Good and old then, uh, yeah. yeah. Upgrade, yeah. Get the PC too, because I need a nice PC to continue this. You know. Oh, dude, you already and, ran out of money, uh, then, dude. <laughs> you buy a shit car. I'm almost there. Lens. I'm almost there. Dude, that's like you most of the money the right there, dude. The license yeah. or the, uh, what is it? <laughs> the lens already costs like a gajillion dollars. You're only going to get like no. one good lens and then the rest of the money could be something else. <laughs> man, uh, dude, I remember, I remember uh, fucking how much uh, lens costs, man. Good times, dude. Never again. Yeah, lens. Yeah, they're um, they're expensive, especially the Sony's G Master. It's almost as much as the camera, dude. And like, I think it's the funny. cheapest one is like eighteen hundred. Oh yeah, dude. Glass is so expensive. The body's a nice body is is good, but the magic is in the lens, man. You know the thing about uh, glass is that like the value to that doesn't go down as far as a camera body. Yeah. So that's the positive thing about buying investing into camera lens. Because the price will always, or the resale was always going to be there. Yeah. Versus the camera body, like if there's a new one that comes out, your value yeah. goes down. The body, the body's outdated, and, and the cool thing with lens yeah. too is that it's interchangeable with you know with the you know the same locking design. Yeah, like if you get a new one, yeah. so if you upgrade your body, then you're still good on lens. Uh, Sean said that he'll give it to another person who needs it more than me. He's talking Sean, about, give it to me. Yeah, yeah, he's talking about me. Sean, talk about me. <laughs> Dang, $10,000, yeah, Sean? Damn, dude. Sean, you better, be, you better be a millionaire to give away money, bro. He's going he's gonna to make a viral I mean, video out of it. That's what he's going to do. <laughs> I think that's... I think he's in the right mindset for sure. I definitely thought about giving it away too, but man, like... I have kids. I, make, I gotta help me to help others. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to help me first. Car. Otherwise... Blind leading the blind. <laughs> yeah, man. So, oh, shit. shout out, shout out to Sean. That's cool, man. What a good heart. Cool. I was uh, thinking about that too, man. How's, how's like, the uh, how's the audio sound now? Uh they said this is a lot better. Uh, I'm gonna test it out right now. Yeah, because uh, what it was is just I had you on the speaker okay, cool. instead of on the uh, headphones, so that's what that was. Oh. Uh, we're here now. Yep, it's good. Audio is good. Cool. Um, so I was uh, listening to uh, one of the podcasts that I often listen to is uh, Gamer GG. Uh, his name is Dr. K, and he's a um, therapist. He's a psychologist. Um, yeah. Anyway, so he was talking about relationships and how red flags are actually good for you good for a relationship so there was a test that they did right there was a test where they had two couples have uh dinner with the, uh, they just like a, a first date right yeah. the first date was on like a like a stable bridge 
And the second, the second couple was on a, a bridge that was unstable and it was shaky. The one that that was the, the shaky bridge seems to stick a lot longer, and they bonded more because people tend to bond more when tragic happens. When negative happens and tragic happens, they uh, figure it out and um, they bond more. It's it's crazy how it works. Um, but yeah, I thought that was interesting. So uh, red flags is not always a bad, bad. thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I think I think it it uh, you know it, it it can probably blend in with like uh, toxic relationships. You know, that's kind of what I think about when I hear red flags. You know, if you're in a red flag type of relationships or the relationship that you're in has or the the person that you're with has a few red flags, right? You know. Um, yeah. So I think I think I think I think even with that, right? I think as long as um an individual is willing to grow and work things out to get out of that situation, you know. I, I think that's I think that's what people aren't willing to um consider or, or aren't willing to go through. Because uh, I know, you know, my parents, you know, they went through hell and back, you know. And then, you know, every every family member that we meet, you know, with, who have, you know, grown kids like us, you know, they all kind of like forget their parents and then, you know, don't give a fuck about them, <laughs> you know. And then while, you know, I'm here paying for my mom's uh, rent, you know, and then and my mom's telling me stories. Yeah, you're, you're, hold on, you're cutting in out on audio. Like, those are good five seconds that you just oh, blanked on. What? Maybe it's just uh, I'm on Wi-Fi. Right. That's why. I'm not sure. I think I'm on Wi-Fi. Okay. I think that's what's causing the cutouts. But anyways, yeah, uh, you know, grow, growing through hardship uh, with somebody else is is very important. That's how you have a marriage that lasts forever. You know, is, is you're willing to work through those hardship and not give up when things get difficult or things get uncomfortable or you know, because you because you're. Because let's say, right, something that challenges your core values happen to you, right? Your your spouse does to you, you know. The, you know, okay, so I'm going to say this, right? Because honestly, I think like um, a, a relationship can still work even if the other person cheats on you. Um, like you can work through those things out. Um, you can grow from those things, you know. Um it's not going to be comfortable. It's not going to be fun. It's going to be traumatizing, if anything. But, you know, when you grow past that, then I think, you know, something more beautiful can happen on the other side of that. Honestly, that's that's what, that's what I think. So you, so cheating is okay. It's, cheating it's, could be a good thing. It's, it's, it's no, no, no. Best case scenario, you don't cheat at all. But, you know, in your journey through life, right? If something like that happens, and it can, it's it's a it's a it's an opportunity to become better. Yeah. Uh, yep. What 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 if what if your girl cheats on you twice? Oh man, that's tough, dude. You know. What happens? Do you Fi think Do you think that'll be like the line or what? Mm, I'm not sure. I, I would say figure that shit out. You know. <laughs> opportunity to grow dude i mean i mean either you work it out and you know it works out or get divorced you know that's i mean because there's the, the idea of what i'm trying to say right is that you know focus on the the growth piece right focus on being together is what i'm saying yeah i think yep that's true man uh going through struggles I think that's kind of where uh, my previous ex, uh, not this one, but the other one, uh, we went through so much trauma that like really bonded us together. So it kind of like clicked for me in a way. Um, so I truly believe that for sure. I think every relationship isn't supposed to be perfect. If it was perfect, then it would be too boring, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, David Lee, we missed David Lee's uh question so it's okay hold on so apparently i have two different chats i have my personal one and i have the live chat one which is in my my the fan page one so uh david he said uh pay some bills and invest some money and treat yourself hey man that's 
That's a great way to invest your money, brother. It's yeah, insane. dude, we gonna <laughs> we gonna pay for a premium subscription, dude. Pay a premium uh, Pornhub subscription. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what he meant, right? That's what David. David, you gotta have to clarify. <laughs> treat yourself. That's what. Treat that's, yourself. That's, treat yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he meant. 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 Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, we're moving on to the next segment. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. Uh, uh, I'm trying to figure some stuff out. So we have something uh, important today. Today is going to be a little bit different from every other uh, uh, video podcast. Um, we're going to be a little bit soft today. We're going to be uh, soft, soft men. You need soft, eh? Hmm. Yeah. You know, um, I, I, it's been. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell a joke. So. Okay. Let me know if it if it sticks. Okay. Let me see. Give me some. Give me some dad jokes. I I took. I took Cialis, so I am not soft. Mm. Hmm. Like now, just recently. Just recently. Just like now, so, like I'm talking about like a couple hours from now, like ten minutes ago, like how. I took it recently, recently? and I am not soft. I'm gonna hmm. just leave it there. Like emotionally not so, soft, or are you talking about so, physically? So when you said we were gonna be soft, that's that's was that was the the relation to that joke. Is that I'm not mm. soft because I'm hard. Well, I tried. So are we gonna go to okay. a video segment? Save me. Let let this video save me from okay. from that terrible terrible joke. What's going on. <laughs> You need five types of friends. Very first one is your covenant Ooh. friend. The hell? You need five types of friends. Very first one is your covenant friend. This is the guy who is your ride or die, and they are always there for you. Your spiritual friend. This is the person that'll pray for you. This is the person that you go for advice, spiritual advice when you're down. This one's really hard to come by. It's called a confidant. Who do you go to when you have life decisions? The one you can share wins with. Because sometimes we can't share wins because people are jealous. This person right here, your confidant, come to him and say, hey bro, check it out. Just made a million bucks. And they go, good for you, bro. Good for you, what's next? Next is your hospitable friend. This person cares for your well-being. This person right here is always like, hey man, how are you doing? No, 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 I don't care about how you're doing at work. How's your heart? Do you have that friend? If you don't have that friend, you need to seek out that friend. Because that friend brings life. And then lastly, we all need a hitman. You know what a hitman friend does. <laughs> hey, bro, check it out. Some stuff went down. They don't ask questions. They go get a bat and they roll out. You need that friend too. You got me? Sometimes you can have a friend, and listen to me real quick. If you have a friend that's more than uh, two or three on this list is one person, bro, you need to go tell that person today that you thank them. Hey, we did a personal inventory today. Ryan was talking about the top five friends, and you're three of them. I just want to let you know I appreciate you in my life. Hey, if you don't have any of those friends, I'm going to challenge you to start putting capital into other people. You can't do life alone. You have to have people in your life. That's why in the Marine Corps, we have a fire team. It's four. We don't send one person. Even in the most elite military units that we send to. So who do you have in your circle? And take a personal inventory. If you got crappy friends, you need to start kicking them to the curb. Because that is your future. You guys got me? I'm lucky that my friends are here. <laughs> my friends choke me and hold me accountable. That's cool, dude. Yeah, man. Um, That's good. Uh, sh sh you know, shout out, shout out to you and Anthony, man. Uh, Losa, Don, too, bro. Y'all, y'all feel more than two of those for sure. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna say all. Uh, because I think uh, there's a lot that you know that all you guys feel, in 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 that purpose, man. Uh, shout out to Ant if you're watching. Shout out to Lo. Shout out to Don too. Shout out to Peter. Um, yeah, bro. Um, I thought that was pretty important, man. First thing uh, I thought about is, is is you guys, man. I'm like, man, that's. I need I need a hitman. I need a hitman now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta go find me a gangster friend, cuz. Break some kneecaps. This motherfucker owed me some money. This motherfucker, you know, trying to get on my turf. 
<laughs> I got a rental business over here. I need to, I need you to burn his place down. <laughs> I was like, y'all, y'all check everything, but I was like, who's a hitman, man? I don't know any hitman. <laughs> oh, that's what you mean by soft. Yeah, we soft, dog. We ain't, we ain't trying to hurt nobody. <laughs> we can't hurt nobody. We soft. <laughs> that's cool, man. I like, I like that. You know, I think um, the brotherhood, right? You know, I mean, he he kind of like digs more specifically in what category but you know like that's why like i appreciate you know the brotherhood you know the names that you mentioned and then my own personal you know brotherhood too outside of you guys you know is that like you it's important that you can retreat away from you know uh your family right because some, you can't have the same conversations with your wife and your kids and your your parents and your brothers and sister but you can mm -hmm. have you know these like uh unhinged conversations you know and that's that's really what our cancel series is about man is is being able to say you know stuff off the cuff you know out of you know out of our ash or or you know just shit that we really you know feel you know and i think that's the the value of having these specific individual friends because there's they do specific things for you you know in your into your life and the brotherhood too so that's cool man that's a good reminder dude yeah, um aside yeah, aside you guys too, man. Um I'm still still trying to find more quality people in my life. I had to filter out the people that didn't serve me. Um and yeah, it's and just accepting the ones that, that are there, you know, the, the personal relationships and growing that and watering it. And um there was a there's a saying where like would you rather have a hundred pennies or four quarters? Would you rather have a hundred people or four four main people? You know what I mean? So I thought that was like a pretty strong quote, you know, like um yeah, I'd rather have four quarters, you know. Focus on the the big dogs, you know. And um yeah, that's that was pretty strong. Um quick shout out real quick to uh to Mina. She said uh ten K uh she'll invest and buy teachers their tissues for school. Extra credit if that still happens today. Buy tissues? Why would you want to buy tissues? I think that's something that they did back in the day. That sounds familiar, oh, but... Oh, 10K? Weird. They don't need $10,000 worth of tissues. Huh? <laughs> they need $10,000 worth of school supplies, dude. <laughs> man, that's a lot. That's a lot, man. I think... I, re I, I remember, you know, I think middle school or some shit like that did some, some kind of program like that. Yeah, for extra credit and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like tissue broke, boxes. Broke like, screws. <laughs> Did Nathan Hale do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I know um, in the mission school in uh, Wisconsin, they did. Yeah, yeah. And um, I had to make my parents buy that. And yeah, yeah. No apples. They just asked for tissue and, and school supplies. Damn, son. They had like a whole list, too, of like, oh, what yeah. you should buy for extra that. credit. I remember that shit, man. It's like, crazy. Yeah, y'all like. Yeah, that broke out there. Um, but anyways, uh, she's like, Who we hang, hang out with is key, is the light bulb. True, 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 true. But yeah, man, um, still trying to feel that, you know, um, like the homie, uh, Jimmy. Uh, oh, Jimmy, dude, Jimmy, he is he was on here. He's uh, one of my spiritual friends, man. Shout out to Jimmy, he's uh. Very spiritual, love him. He feels that part of me, which is great. My sisters too. They still text me, text me to this. They haven't got a chance to text back. Oh, nice. I'm pretty horrible at that. Oh man, that sucks. Oh, nice. Ooh. Well, well, you you said you. I, I meant I meant nice to the thing before, and then you said that simultaneously as I said nice. So that's what that's what I meant. Yeah, I feel bad, man. What Hopefully you they don't fucking watch fucking episode. text then, dude? It's not that hard, dude. You know they they write so much. They're like, I have to write as much. You be like, lol, to, uh, k. <laughs> yeah, you know, I have to like write as much too. So like, what I so this is what what legit what happened was like, I'll be in the middle of my text and then something happens. Like, okay, cool. And I'm like, okay, then I'm doing something else. And I come back. I'm like, okay. I'm gonna finish this text. That's me coming back five hours later, and I'm just kind of forgetting about it. Yeah, yeah, bro. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Okay. 
You, you, are, yeah. are you gonna cry? You sound like you got your crying voice transitioning. So bad, man. So bad. I did text back this morning, though. Good. Good on ya. Here we go. We're a pest species that's grown. Son of a bitch. What's going on? We're a pest species that's grown like a mold around the planet because our natural predator has been absent for a few hundred thousand years. Wow. Ten times more intelligent than a human. It, it only needs a certain enzyme that humans have in their blood. And what it does is it basically goes into hibernation like a vampire. It lets the human population build up. And then when it comes out of hibernation, over a few generations, its existence may have been turned into myth or something. And then it hunts the population down again, right? What? How do you feel about that? There's, there's, where's the rest of that, man? True, true or false? Where's the rest of that, man? I think I call bullshit. But I call bullshit. On that, that video should have been that video, that video should have been longer than that. Like, there's so much information you about to say. You can't just say, you know, Joe Rogan podcast is like five hours long. You know what I'm saying? There's more to that conversation, man. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna I have to go back and listen to that podcast. Oh my god, dude. Um, but yeah, what do you what do you think? BS or not? I don't know. I, I don't know. I literally don't know what he's trying to say. It, it sounds like some kind of virus is about to come up by hibernation, about to fuck up. So, humanity yeah you know, i don't know that's what it sounded he's like he's saying yeah. that he's saying this is the species that's been in hibernation that eventually gonna come out and kill all human species what do you think it's called the human species i believe that human species are gonna wipe wipe away I, I believe that humanity is gonna kill humanity before any any fucking thing else you know honestly Hey, uh, Peter, you're, you're in and out again. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, actually, you you mute. I'm. <sighs> Fucking bitch. We're gonna um, plug in. We're gonna do the the cord now. I'm assuming. Yep, I was I was on Wi-Fi. I'm doing Ethernet cable. Is it really the Wi-Fi? This is the first time that has happened. Yeah, well, because before I was on Ethernet cable. That's why. This is, this is the first time we are on Wi-Fi. So, I apologize. Okay, so we're going to, as uh, he's going to fix that situation. Um, so write down, guys, what would you guys do with 10K? Wouldn't it be absurd if I spent it all on, like, a strip club? You think that would be the ideal way to spend 10k? Spend it on what? Uh, what? stripper. On a stripper. <sighs> you think? You think God will approve that? If anything, I'm feeding. I'm feeding somebody's kid, right? I'll technically be a stepdad in a way. Oh man! That's a uh, I'm um, uh, I'm a, night, a night a night of stepdad. Uh, I'm judging you. I'm judging you right now. If you uh, if you spend 10k on a stripper, it's an option. It's an option. You, you you're would, feeding. You do something good. You would, you're feeding somebody else. You know. You what would I mean? get a hard judge from me. That's about it. I would still love you, but I mean, I, I don't I don't go to strip clubs to be honest. But you know, the thought the thought behind it was that I'm here to maybe maybe and, maybe in volume right yeah. if you you spend 10k on one person are you saying yeah 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 one person can be fine it could be the whole thing it could be oh man dude Ugh. no that's not the stripping game man you know it's it's about when you go into a strip club right let me tell you i'm 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 pretty good at this uh when you go to, when you go into a strip club man you want to make that dollar work you don't want to stretch that dollar as much as possible. That's what you want to do. So if you spend ten yeah, grand wow. on one stripper, you you ain't doing it right. Balling, bro. You are doing the balling way. You can. You, I mean, you 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 hold your stack, right? But then you only use like maybe a hundred bucks out of that stack. You know what I'm saying? 
you got really stretched. You can really stretch it. Hmm. You can get a lot of fun out of just stretching that dollar. Sometimes or, you even get a few bucks back if you do it right. <laughs> tell me the technique. Uh, okay, all right. Real story time, fellas. Story time. <laughs> so back in the day, man, we, me, uh, me and my buddy Carlos, man, it was I blame Carlos. He got me into the stripping game, right? Uh, he loved going to strip clubs until he went to Vegas strip club, and he just never went to strip clubs ever again because that 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 experience Peter, really different. Uh, Peter, I'm sorry, man. It's uh, uh same thing, dude. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's just like it, you're gone for like two three seconds and then right back on it no way dude my mic should be a1 everything's fucking i'm not i don't know why it keeps on cutting off like that is it uh is it on my is it um just on discord or is it do you notice it on the on the live on the live too because if it's on the live if that happens on the live that's that's not good man you know what i'm saying Okay, yeah, so this, I'm gonna. It's, I'm gonna on live, it's on the live too. Oh, really, man? Yeah, it's on the live too. That fucking sucks, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to tell this story as much as possible. Okay. Uh, back in the day at Tulsa, Oklahoma, good times, good times, great times. Remember, guys, this is ten years ago, so I'm not the same person as I was during the time of this story time. But um, so whenever we would go out to strip clubs right i would always go out uh broke right because you want to you want to have cash in hand you got to pay the door fee right i remember it wasn't that expensive it was like only 12 bucks i couldn't afford 12 bucks i was making like maybe 10 bucks an hour or some shit like that um so that was that was already you know above my budget you know that, that 10k would have been great back then but but uh, so you you pay the door fee, right? Yeah, you, you make friends is what you want to do, man. You you go with friends, preferably, right? So in case shit goes down, you're not the only one getting your face bashed in. But you go with friends, uh, and you make friends there. That's how you have a great time. That's how you stretch that dollar of yours, right? So you find guys who are just who's already been there, uh, and who's already had a few drinks, and he just. Great energy. You just go in and go, hey. So this is one time, this small strip joint. Uh, it was me and Carlos. Go to the strip joint. Bunch of Mexicans in front of us, right? Clearly Mexicans. They're, they're speaking Spanish. A group of them, like maybe five of them. And I'm like, hey, Carlos. I'm about to make some friends, brother. And he's like, no, Peter, don't do it, man. You're drunk. <laughs> I was like, perfect. And then so I go up to the, the five guys, right? And I'm like, hey, what's up, guys? You guys having a good time? And then they're like, yeah. They're speaking Spanish to me. Um, and then I'm like, hey, man, this, this bitch fine, dude. You guys go dance with her, man. I'm trying to encourage, you know, that's how you make friends, right? Good vibes. And then so they they weren't really into it. They're like, ah, nah, man, you go, you go. Here's here's uh, here's uh two bucks, man. I was like, duh, I'm, I'm going to make that bitch dance with one dollar, man. And they're like, oh, shit. And then so I take I take the you know one of their one dollar bills right and I'm just going up there drunken fool, uh, and I'm just and I, I hold the dollar in my mouth like a like a drunken fool right, and then so she's doing her thing. There's like nobody else you know coming to the stage for a lap dance right, and then uh, she comes up. It's a small joint, so they, they have like the bars where they can, where the stripper can hold on to. Oh, dude, I can I can hear the I can hear the gap the silent. It's still it's still going silent for like five seconds, huh? Hold on, Tim. Oh, dude, I can I can hear the I can hear the gap silent. It's still it's still going silent for like five seconds. Hold on, Tim. Oh, like yeah. It's like in and out. Damn. Okay. So anyway, she right, she dances on me. She's got her legs on my face, right? And <laughs> she just I'm not gonna do the motion. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I'm not gonna do the motion. We'll save that for the cancel series. But uh, so she's she's dancing. Her like cooch is in my face, right? And I'm like, holy shit, dude! I, I was not expecting that. And then she doesn't take the dollar, right? And then she goes to finish her set, and then I go back to the the homies, right? The new friends, and I give them back the dollar, and they're like, oh yeah, dude, that's so dope. And then um, they give me a few beers, and I'm just like, tight, cool, thanks, man. I go back to Carlos, I'm like, that's how you make some friends, brother. But 
there's uh there's other there's other you know there's many other stories but i like i like that one because because uh it was good it was good man one of my uh experience uh with you man <laughs> um till this day dude I've, I've i've done it once all right and it was uh throwing the cash and then collecting it again you wanna you wanna elaborate what that what that means um i don't think this okay so um what you want to do yeah what well, what peter did what i what i saw right uh you want to throw enough cash maybe ten dollars a bill and you just throw it but then you don't want you want to throw a high you don't want to throw it forward you throw it forward your money's gone throw a high and then some money will fall back to towards you she'll probably get like a couple dollars um as the money is if so there's gonna be some bills that are close to you so you kind of want to reach out a little bit and maybe use your elbow grab the money get the money back <laughs> and just pick up the money again and you reuse it it uh it works man i've done it um one time and it works but man i start to feel bad dude <laughs> i start to feel bad because they they work their butt off and literally <laughs> literally working their literally. butt off ah <laughs> <sighs> oh, dog <laughs> Okay, since we telling it, man, that one time, so like it was, um, it was when uh, I think Losa Dantu and his wife was there too. <laughs> what, midget night? Are you talking about midget night? Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah, and then I sat by this uh, this black dude. I was like, "Hey, what's up, player? What's up? What's up, boss man?" And then he was like, "I think he, I, I remember him uh, gave me like ten bucks, or, or or he threw cash. He threw a lot of fucking cash, oh, yeah, right?" Yeah, 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 and I was yeah, like, yeah. "Yeah, this is my boy. I was like, this is my boy." And then I was like. Whoop, on the stage. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's how you get paid <laughs> for a show, dude. That's how you get your entrance feedback and some. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That's uh, <sighs> it's definitely one of Peter's traits, man. To, you gotta, you gotta stretch that money. dollar, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, you gotta stretch that dollar, man, for a good time, a unique time. Um, so, uh, quick shout out to Santana. Uh, so I have two chats, so I have to keep on going back and forth. So I'm, I'm missing some people too, but Santana said, uh, she will spend the 10 K on a mommy makeover. Oh, nice. I'm not sure what that means. What does that mean? Uh, um, a makeover for a mother. A make. Mm. I okay. I don't know what that consists make of, but makeover, uh, with the mom, I, I'm assuming so. Now that I know we have two different chats, um, I could operate a bit better. Um, I should have a phone. But yeah, man, um, that's the story of uh, saving money at a, at a strip club, dude, or earning money. How you get paid at a strip club? Listen. You heard it here first, man. You heard it here first. I'm going to do the intro video for the small clips. This is how you earn money. Going to strip club. <laughs> okay, we're saving that for the edit, baby. For the reel, let's go. Oh, that's funny. By the way, guys, our reel has been popping off. If you guys haven't seen it yet, we have our TikTok. Uh, everything is linked on our link tree. Go check it out, guys. It should be yeah. It should be pinned in the comments. So check that out, guys. All right, next video, ready? Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, I, I did take a break, you know, I was going through some mental things. Uh, I felt a little dark, you know, I went through a little... I went through some anxiety and depression, and I just tried my best to stay strong. That's it. You know, the public rarely sees this in athletes. They only hear about it. Can you describe what that's like while you're going through it and how you how you attempt to overcome it? I don't know. It was just the pressure, the pressure of life, the pressure of boxing, being a good dad. It's just letting it out right now. I'm just letting it out. It, was, it weighed on me for a year and a half, 
And I know the only way to get better is to, to fight and to win. I'm a fighter. This is what I do and I love to do. And I know this is how, if you battle an anxiety and depression, you can get over it. This is what I did tonight. I came here and I put my heart out. And is it an ongoing process? I still battle some days. I do battle some days. I have some dark days. But I try my best to stay uh, positive. But I feel good now. As you can see, I did a great show tonight. Thank you for coming out. Bro, a fucking fighter, dude. Like, you know, that, that tells me a lot that, you know, not like everyone, literally everyone is going through pain and suffering and you're not alone, man. And he was like, man, he expressed it. Yeah. On stage, man. That's hard, dude. Uh, That's you know, he's known as, you know, one of the, one of the toughest fighters and, you know, a lot of people go through shit and shout out to the homie man. that. He, be, his heart out, he uh he chose a vulnerable uh a very vulnerable time to be soft but um man it, it speaks to a lot of people who are going through it you know that like a champion is has has those same emotions that us civilians have you know so i think that's real cool yeah that he chose to do it at that time too you know yeah that's the uh yeah, it, you know, it all came down to, you know, I think it's that was his reward. It's just kind of like, man, like, all the pain and suffering, you know, just all for winning. And then, and there he is winning and just kind of like, okay, uh, I got to move on kind of thing, you know. Yeah. It takes a lot, man. It takes a lot to, you know, freak your heart out. A lot of people can relate. Yeah. Shout out to the homie. You have uh you have some tough days. Oh yeah, yeah of course yeah, yeah. that's um yeah there's always gonna be tough days like I've I still have tough days till this day you know yeah. but these tough days are getting easier for sure I mean it's been I mean um, before it was actually um like turning to going to substance and stuff yeah. yeah um but learning how not to just turn to substance was one of the biggest thing and like facing it like sober is is another thing and i feel like i've definitely like been better with it yeah and uh, good shit dude yeah yeah wait till you get married <laughs> we do have kids it's, uh, it's not done yet <laughs> it's gonna be harder man uh, but i can't wait to have a kid though yeah. one day oh, one yeah. day make it happen man you gotta make that shit happen, dude. You know, you gotta um, speak it into existence. I gotta find. I gotta find a girlfriend first, right? Yeah, get that, get that wifey, man. Hey, anybody wants to slip in my DMs, man? It's wide open, dog. A hundred percent, not a joke. Yeah, it's it's true. <laughs> um, I'm gonna log into the other snap so I can look at both. All right, cool, man. Uh, great videos, dude. I really like those. I enjoy those videos. I wish that Joe Rogan one was fucking longer. Uh, we we barely even touched on it. Yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. Dude, that's how you. like lacking of information that one was. Um, next next one next one next one. I got you. I got you. I got you. You mean you mean next episode? That's what you talking about? Yeah, next episode. Okay. Yeah, next episode. I got you. All right. With that being said, man, let's let's move into our halftime, brother. This time we usually do uh, what is it? What is it called? What do we usually do? We do the would you would you rather? Yeah, yeah. that's what we normally do for the past yeah, yeah. Uh, three episodes, I believe. But uh, on this episode, we're gonna go back to Reddit, Reddit, Reddit reads, Reddit, Reddit topics. I don't know what they're called. Reddit posts. Um, more specifically, relationship based ones. Uh, I really enjoyed these because it gives me. Um, perspective and uh, a great appreciation for what I have. <laughs> um, so that being said, man, you ready? You ready to dive into this? I'm gonna read it for uh, for all of us. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Cool. This one says, "I think I just hit a big red flag with my current girlfriend. Everything was going well for the past three months. Sex is awesome, similar hobbies, and we get along well. She did some. Uh, she did have some red flags with her past, but hell, so do I." Just had a conversation on the phone where we talked about emotions and stuff and felt like we emotionally connected. I told her I wanted to see her soon and she said the same. I've been working long days. 
and told her I could come up tomorrow after meeting with a couple of friends for dinner. One of the reasons we are getting together is an old member of our college friend group, a girl, is coming through town and she wanted to see the group. When I told my girlfriend about this, she said, ew, who is she? Then proceeded to say it was gross and weird that I would meet up with an old friend who is a girl in a group setting with a lot of our old group friends. Seems like a big red flag. And like I said, man, sometimes the red flags are a good thing. Yeah. Get toxic, it's, dude. It's it's so crazy start that cheating you, on each other. Yeah. Start start cheating on each other, man. It's so crazy. Yeah. Like you yeah. mentioned your red flag and then this, you know, this this it was, it was not planned. This is not planned, guys. I hope you guys know that. Yeah. But all right, you wanna you wanna express um, on this one? Um man, it's kinda you know, I can definitely relate to this for sure, dude. Um so she, it was a question it was like would i meet up with the old friend who is a girl so, she, so she's she's tripping yeah that he's meeting with the group of old friends and this one chick from out of town is coming into town okay so is that is um, that a red flag or is, is that a red tripping? flag <sighs> or is he tripping or who's talking? tripping who's tripping the chick or the guy tricking tripping I think this is the real test. I don't think it's a red flag. I think this is the test where does it go bad or does it go completely good, right? I think this is I think this is a good test. This is the perfect test. This is where you find out if she's a wifey or she's not. This is where um is it hubby material or husband material? I mean hubby or not material, right? So I think um this is definitely not a flag kind of thing because she didn't do anything wrong. This is just a situation that could go wrong you know so i don't think it's a red flag not at all i say go for it dog i think i think she's tripping 100 percent. and i also yeah, feel I like there's a lot of context that may be missing because it's, it's it doesn't seem harm harmless i mean it doesn't seem harmful at all you know uh, i think it, what it sounds like is like she's missing him because he's working long days right so she wants to get his attention you know they want that emotional connection it's been a while we just been talking over the phone come see me i want you to come see me more than you want to see your old friends so i think that's what's going on uh and i don't think that's a red flag at all if that's the case you know it means she cares about you a lot um yeah, yeah. but it also depends on the length of how long they've been you know together oh no it says uh three months right it's only been three months so you know a little bit clingy you know what i'm saying so he has the right to really? choose the old friends over her you know so he, he's oh he's right there i think you know i think if he is trustworthy then it shouldn't be an issue um i think he shouldn't view it as a red flag I and mean, you guys are just recently together you know three months she misses you you guys already had sex a few times you know um you know i i think i think I think go hang out with the homies, right? And then get bitched at by a girl and, you know, work it out. And then share some emotions. Yeah. And uh, makeup sex? Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. Makeup sex is the best, bro. Because, I mean, like, you, um, you, you're going to have you gonna have shit happen like this all the time. Like, even in marriage, you know, me and Puku, we've been married for yeah, eight years. Yeah. Like, like, every now and then, I hang out with the homies. Oh, it's, it's not as much of a problem now. Uh, as it was back then, but you know, you, you you're trustworthy. You know, don't yeah. drive drunk. That's about it. Um, yeah, I don't think it's a red flag. I think she has her purpose. Um, I think that she should definitely, you know, do. Uh, I think she did the right thing is to express her emotions and oh, what she, yeah. you know, you know what she, how she felt. Yeah. Um. But dude, still go, man. Still do your thing. You make your decision. Then again, this is a test. And wrong or not, you guys will make up and uh, fuck it off. Yeah. Like literally. So. Yeah. Young, young and in love, man. That's 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 what that sounds like. Okay, cool, man. We uh, I'm glad we uh we solved this case for this person. Uh, quick shout out to uh Ying North. Uh, she said I'll go buy a whole bunch of sriracha with that ten thousand and resell it. <laughs> Hell you yeah, know, dude. you know. Surprisingly, everybody that had ten thousand dollars are just reinvesting and trying to get more money. 
like that's that's majority of the answer is like yeah. i want to invest and in, and not spend it on myself but just make more money with it that's what they say but, freaky that's what they say that's but i know they they're buying the miata they don't have ten thousand. they don't have ten thousand. so that's why they're saying those things yeah it's going straight to the miata dude straight to miata collecting rust baby collecting rust uh, i love my rust man all right, man, the next. I to be oh, dude, bro, let me. I I show you, man. I show you after this. <laughs> I've been looking at some Miata too for like two K. Like it's it's pretty legit too. I mean, that pretty sexy. Yeah, like the older versions, like in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, the NA, the NA, man. Yeah, is that what it's called? The NA. Yeah, the NA uh, model. Uh, I think N-N-A. that's NA. Yeah. Okay. The first, the first uh, edition, the first. Uh, model okay anyways right, uh, uh, next, next, next reddit um 40 female how do i accept that i'm single and might never have the family i dreamt of okay so everyone in my age range is partnered up married most of them have kids i always anticipated having everything together at this age but it didn't really go that to plan i try dating apps but don't find anyone i can connect with should I accept that family might not be an option for me as I feel older all the time? Oh no. Dude, did I freeze up, dude? Oh my god. Um What's going on? I'm still on. Yo, what up? Podcast? I'm back. Hey, uh, podcast is off. It stopped streaming? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 okay, okay, we're good, we're good. I think, uh, I don't know what the fuck happened to Discord. Oh, we're good, we're good. Okay, so how much, how much did, how much of what I read did you get? To be honest, though, you've been kind of cutting in and out the whole time, too. I'm, I was just kind of being patient with it, to be real with you. you you see it when you edit you you see it, but it's it's just in and out. Once like you miss like maybe it'll probably cut you off like three words, and then get you back in pretty quick. <sighs> bro, this this is supposed to be the good computer, bro. I don't know what the fuck happened, man. It's a work in progress. We're getting there, guys. Um, so. Forty years old, and she has the desire to have kids, and all her partners have kids already. What's the situation, right? Well, first things first, you're fucked. <laughs> um, you gotta start seeking older men. I'm talking about maybe fifties uh, that are divorced. There's, I don't think there's a fifty-year-old that is single. If he is, he's probably killing it. He probably swimming in <laughs> pussy, Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, okay, Leonardo is acceptable, man. Leonardo is acceptable. Uh, there's a reason why dating apps isn't working for you. Um, dating apps are there to just you know have sex and whatnot and um, hook up. If you but Hinge, Hinge the Hinge, I've heard Hinge works, but I'm not sure if the Hinge works for. 40 years. Hey, this is a this that's a uh, dating opportunity, dating app opportunity. <laughs> Olding like old dating app. Yeah. Right, right. Like monster. I think they have that monster, huh? Uh, I don't they know have. what it's called. I think they already have that. Anyways, um, that's tough, man. You're fucked. Um, you know, I say you start investing in cat food. Oh, dude, such a good joke. Such a great joke, <laughs> and um, also I'm not a joke. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one's joking here. Uh, it's a joke. No one's joking here. Oh yeah. shit, that's so funny, man. Goddamn. You know, but this is so, this so, is the so, beginning. So, so of why is why is era. that the case? Why is the case? What do you mean? Why like, is the case? Why, why, she's why, yeah, or no, no, yeah. Why, why, why is it like it's over for her? Um, because her prime is over, dude. Her prime is over, man. Uh, she knows that it's over. That's why she's having this problem. You know what I mean? Like, 
guys rather choose a younger woman over a 40 year old that's single you know what i mean like that's just for me that's just obvious in a way you know yeah. that's tough man that's tough but if you're 40 you're still single i mean it's, it's gonna be tough to find a, a husband at that time and not even that man i don't think you're gonna have um having the kids is, is is hard and that's one of a a men one of men's dream is to have a family build a family and if you can't provide a a kid then that's that's a problem too makes you less desirable yeah that's just the, the reality of it dude yeah as much as like people want to deny and be like oh i'm still that that beauty chick i'm still that hot chick hot girl summer you can believe that all you want. Believe it till you're freaking 60, dude. But that's not the reality, man. That's really not the reality. So get your man now when you're freaking your 20s and hold your value with with your man, man. And just stick with them. Stick with one guy. And that's it. That's it. <sighs> yeah. I have nothing else to say, man. So, so I think there's a lot of truth to that, right? Desirability. Um, you know, it, it could be like an attractive thing. You know, I, I think her only uh, option would be overseas, you know. But even then, right? <laughs> hey, don't laugh. Why are you laughing, brother? I see you laughing. Don't laugh. But uh, even though, right, even the, 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 the desirability still matters, right? You're, you're in your 40s. Right to be able to conceive is significantly harder after thirty already, and you're in, you're you're in your forties already, right? So that's very hard. Yeah. Um, finance is a, a a big you know factor into that. So you know, th so there's overseas or older men, but then if you're trying to have kids with somebody who's already old too, you know that that puts a strain on that person. You know that. An older dude is probably not thinking about having a kid at 50 or 60, you know what I'm saying? So, so there's um, uh, less, less of a chance. So I, I would say anticipate being single, you know, and then work on trying to be happy being single. Or maybe perhaps you can work with kids. Um, you know, there, there's plenty of other um, things that, that is still meant for you. You know, a family may not be meant for you, but you can still enjoy life. I think that's kind of what she's struggling on right now. I think she's yeah. been doing the single life for a long time and she wants a family. I think that's kind of where, like, what she wants here, right? Yeah. Um, And, and you know, so there's this uh, thing that... Uh, women say that it's not desirable at all is like they said that oh i come with experience right like a girl with experience has trauma from the past relationship whatever maybe this trauma and women really think that men desire that and that's not true because we don't we don't we we, we have tr enough trauma i mean everyone has trauma but more trauma into your life is something that we don't pray for. We we want peace. We want you know to connect, not not like bring more trauma and more experience in our life, man. Like I want to experience life with you instead of you trying to. I, I want to be your shit. only experience. Uh, I was talking to a friend earlier, dude, on uh, earlier this week, and he he wanted a girl that's like experienced and like in like bed, right? What do you think? Do you want a girl that's experienced in bed or no? Hell no, nah, could. I don't know the thought behind that too, man. Anyways, what um, what, what experience? You know what I'm saying? Like what? Porn can teach you all that. You know, and then and then we can experience yeah. that together. You know what I'm saying? You can teach her that. You guys can learn together. You yeah. guys could do that, yeah. right? I think that's that's the beauty of it, right? Versus, uh, yeah. this is why this is why I told him like if she's good at you know that got got three thousand. The only thing I could think about is like how 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 much she's been doing that. <laughs> did she done with like a hundred other dudes? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like that's that's always gonna be in the back of my head if she's done that got got three thousand, you know? And um Anyways, um uh, R.I.P. So yeah, so yeah, you know, ladies, uh and, and men, but you know, I think uh if you're trying to get a family, get it soon, you know. You know, you're young, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's hard to conceive after 30. Um, what is it? Um, it's hard to do shit when you get older, pretty much. Well, I also think that men and women have two different timelines. Yeah. I think women's timeline comes a little, her, their prime is a little bit closer from uh, like 20 to like 29. You know what I mean? Like 30 is just kind of where like, okay, like their prime is getting going down, you know? But for men, I feel like their prime starts at 26 to like 35 because that's where they're already established with their stuff. They're getting money. They know what they're doing. They're done bullshitting. They can provide. And that's where their prime is at versus uh, a woman. Their prime is a little bit earlier. So um, different timeline for both men and women, you know? Yeah. So um, get your get your man um, early. Yeah. Get pregnant. Uh, lock them down. <laughs> Poke that hole through that, you know, that condom. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Trap them. Um. Yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, real quick. Shout out to uh, Yogi. He said, "10K. I'm going on vacation to Southeast Asia. Hey, man, go get yourself a girl, bro. Wait, he's got a. He's got a. I think he's got a. His profile picture has a girl. I'm not sure if it's like somebody close with him or not. Cool. But man, uh. Get your second get yourself wife, a lady boy, you know what I'm saying? Get that threesome going, cuz. Get your lady boy, man. Yeah, hey, Southeast Asia is a, it's a good spot, man. I would go to Vietnam or um, the Philippines or uh, Indonesia. Yeah, good spots, good spots. <laughs> Plenty of lady boys there, dude. <laughs> it's 2023, man. It's 2023. People into that. People into that now. All right, so we go into my video segment. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we're Tight. moving on to the next one, guys. Tight. If you want me to be home, you know uh, it's weird because like my other platform has two viewers, but the other one has four. But they they show different views on different. Oh, are we streaming on both? Yes. I'm an idiot. Okay, that makes sense. If you want me to be home more, you want me to be with the family more, just do this when I'm all, on my way to work. Grab me, give me a kiss and say, you're such a warrior, honey. Go out there and crush for us. I said, Jesus, if you said that to me, I would crush. And then I'd come home early so I could be with you guys. Then she's like, that doesn't make any sense. So that's because it doesn't make sense to you. But to me, it does. Yes, it does. Yeah. You know, because it makes me feel powerful. Most men, if you sat them down and said, would you rather hear I love you? or I respect you. Most men will leap toward I respect you. Yeah. And most men will say, I don't feel that I deserve it, but that is what I want to hear. If you tell your husband you respect him, that he's strong, you admire him, the good char the character that he carries, the manhood that he has, and you tell him I look up to you, that man, it, it's pure pure testosterone straight in your neck. Like she, she injects you in the <laughs> neck. Line. You go roaring out there for the day on steroids. Almost no women in America or in Europe now know how to do that with their men. They say, I love you. You're so special to me. And you walk out your front door feeling like a big fluffy dog instead of feeling like a man who's going to conquer the world. <laughs> That's true, man. <laughs> this is a book called uh, Love and Respect. That's a fucking powerful book, and it talks about how um, men like uh, they receive love from respect, and women receive love from you know love. Um, that's that's true, dude. Uh, you know, my my wife said uh, you're a good husband and a good father. I was like, ooh, I haven't heard those words in a long time. <laughs> And she was like, "What?" I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> I was like, "It's testosterone." Yeah. I was like, "Hell yeah, could man, yeah. That bitch don't deserve me." <laughs> oh, dog. Let me tell you. Here. Let me tell you, dog. My mom too, man. Like, like I get why my dad was the way he was, because like. My mom's always like, oh, you should ask your sister about this. Oh, you should ask them about this. Or, oh, you should do this instead of what you're doing. And I'm just like, mom, don't I pay your fucking rent? 
You know, haven't I given up drinking? Haven't I become a greater person than I was a year ago and t- five years ago? You know what I'm saying? Who, who out of your, out of, out of my two sisters, who the one that forced you to live with them? You know what I'm saying? Who took initiative and in taking care of dad when dad was a fucking, you know, the way he was? You know what I'm saying? You know, and and, and what else? Uh, I make so much more money than my two sisters. You know, I have more money than my two sisters. I have more kids than my two sisters. What more do you want? You know, and then, oh, man, it's just, it's just, it just, it just makes me not want to be the person I am, you know, because I'm just always beat down by, you know, and, and she doesn't realize it. You know, I express it to her nice. I express it to her aggressively. She don't understand, you know, and it's just kind of like, ah, uh, that's, that's my life, you know. That's my life with my mom. Uh, my wife is great, uh, but she can do a little better on the respect part uh, or, or the on the, the, the other part. Um, <sighs> try to you know, I, you know, I recommend getting high with your mom one day. You know, just one day, y'all to just get high and just talk, talk the shits. Oh man, you know, <laughs> ayahuasca. I think, ayahuasca, ayahuasca. Go. I think we need to do ayahuasca. You know what I mean? Ayahuasca. Yeah, because it's, it's going to be a different perspective. You know, a different perspective from y'all, and, and uh, y'all gonna open up correctly. And because uh, you know, here's the thing too, man. Like the thing, I kind of know what you mean by your mom only has one because right now i feel like she only has one lens you know like she doesn't see it from your side or the other side it's just kind of like one lens so you gotta have her get to see some other lens somehow you know what i mean uh i think that's that's the only way to really um you know let her really open up to you differently you know um need a family therapist that's what we need for sure (laughs) <laughs> nah, yo, I think uh, I don't remember if I told you this, but like, the other we- the other is like a few weeks back, right? Um, I think I just finished a twelve hour shift, and then um, I think Paku was doing some, and then my mom was taking care of the kids or something like that. And then uh, she was like, and oh, and then Paku came home with some groceries and stuff like that, right? And I was still sleeping. And then she was like, "Oh, Peter, why don't you go help?" Oh, I was like. I was I was too tired to be mad at her, but I was like, "What the fuck is she talking about?" <laughs> I was like, "I got it good, man. This bitch." <laughs> oh man, it was uh, it was it was pretty hard. It hurt. Like in my life, dude. Like 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 nobody can hate me as much as I can, right? Uh, and then nobody can hurt my feelings, right? But the people that I, I I I live for, like they can hurt my feelings, you know. Saying some dumb shit like that, it's just really, it cut me. I told my mom a few days later. I was like, hey, you know, you said this. She don't remember, and I was like, you said it, and it hurt me. <laughs> She's like, oh, sorry. I was like, dog, oh, man. Yeah, I think it's great to definitely communicate it with your mom for sure. To kind of, hey, mom, this is what happened. Like you did a, a phenomenal job on to resolve that situation so it won't happen again or if it does like it'll be a better situation um you know i think that's that's step one is to announce and kind of recognize the situation um but that's great man i mean sorry that that happens to you uh but you know it's, it's gonna take time to i don't uh, have a choice frankie i don't have to i don't have a choice i have to be hey, better. Man, you're trying dude i have you're to trying. be better i have to be better <laughs> I am the head of the family. I have to be better. <laughs> I have to grow. I have to grow. Uh, I have yeah, to be. Every, I have to be a good example. <sighs> everything's on you, bro. Good or bad, it don't matter, man. It's yeah. still on you. Oh yeah, yeah. You should have. You should have uh, gro- grabbed those groceries, sleepwalking. <laughs> you should, you should, that's the training that you need. Every time when she comes and you, oh, when she parks her car. She goes straight to bed, and you go out there alone, uh, oh, no sandals on. Just grab the groceries and come back and put the groceries back. That's what. That's what the next training is going to be. That's so funny. Uh, you know. Yeah. Um, but it's, you know, it's it's hard to be. Um, it's hard, man. I get it, man. But you know, you you understand the assignment. You you, you know what's up. Yeah. Um. 
but you're you, but you're uh, you're teaching as you go you know you're you're communicating well so that's that's the good thing uh so quick shout out to uh keith real quick he said uh he'll he'll put 10k into debt now you got that much debt 10k damn student debt's a bitch dude. man yeah I, I i bet i bet sorry keith sorry keith 10 10k is a lot for that but yeah you know all the um, all the women out there right you know respect is number one man if you want to show us love you know these are uh, words of affirmation you know are is very um very meaningful to us uh so yeah uh you know it's crazy once a girl starts to uh not respect you man we, the love changes so quickly because uh, the relationship changes actually pretty quick if there's no respect in a relationship, man. And you know it's crazy, dude. Like um, a quick, a quick little story, story time for me, real quick. So I started to notice that uh, uh, my ex girl wasn't respecting me because she always had like like uh, some shit Yeah, yeah, like with with attitude, and I'm like, hey, you better not give me the attitude and like kind of thing, right? So a lot, everything just escalated as as we went. Uh, but she didn't know. She didn't like understood that she was disrespecting me. You know what I mean? And um, that's when I knew it was going downhill. Though I announced it, I, I was like, "Yeah, this is the situation." And she kind of just brushed it, brushed it off, and yeah. it just escalated to a, a different argument, and it just gotten worse. And um, so it goes both ways, man. One have to understand the situation. One have to, you know. It's tough. I'm, I'm just gonna stop there because um, I'm gonna get emotional with my girl, Max. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, man. It doesn't feel good, man. It doesn't feel good that you know you're trying your best and you know they just shitting on you, your partner. You know what I'm saying? Your partner in your life, shitting on you, talking, degrading you, and saying, "Oh, there's no hope for you." You know what I'm saying? You know why am I? You and your, why, why you am I with your you? Dick size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Yep. yep. <laughs> Do you even find me attractive? Do you even like women anymore? Why are you always flaccid? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Nah, that's money, nah. dog. <laughs> yeah. Um. um <sighs> you know. I know uh, when when sex isn't good, that's Ooh. when you know a relationship is is, is bad, dude. When like if you guys have been like, oh yeah, yeah, when it's forced to, uh, when it feels like grape, um, it's it's over, man. It's over. You you're walking on eggshells, dude. Um, yeah. So it sucks. It sucks to suck, Frankie. I'm talking to you, Frankie. Yes. Therapy, dude. Good old therapy. All right, here's the next video. So, check this out. No wonder I left them. That can only be one thing. I know when they are left them. That can only be one thing. Ever since I left the city, you got a reputation for yourself now. Everybody knows that I'll be left off Girl, you got me down, you got me stressed off Cause ever since I left the city, you Started really? wearing this really? and going Is he gonna do it? Did he do the dance? Oh, yeah, he did <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Blackface uh, Who is that? That's, that's his name, Blackface? No, 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 no This is, this is from oh. like some kind of show but uh, a show in Poland. Um, that was tough. Doing blackface. What are your the what audacity? Are you, what are you, the audacity, <laughs> dude. No, I think I think oh, Poland. Dude. I think Poland is um, breaking barriers, man. I think Poland's uh, moving forward. You know. Um, is Drake even black? You know what? <laughs> Not. Like, now that I think about it, man, it it it's uh, it's gonna be a new thing because AI is taking over, and this is fighting AI. So I respect that. Yeah, I okay. respect that. 
All right. you know, we gotta be positive about this kind of stuff because the homie tried. He got the outfit. He got the beard. He got the girls. He got the set. And he did the dance. I mean, what more can you do, man? <sighs> Mad props to the homie. What more can you do? So, you know, when I saw this video, man, I initially, I thought of the N-word. That's what I thought of. Nice. <laughs> Not quite. Uh, okay. So, you know, is it... Because I, I haven't said the N-word in quite a long time. Uh, that's just me being conscious and... I'm, when I'm around certain folks, then I say the N word. But even then, you know, I, I haven't said it. So I don't remember you saying it at all. That I know. Yeah. I've been. Uh, I've been Anyways. good. I've been good. I've been good. Anyways. So, so what are your thoughts on that, man? The N word. Because some people are about it. Some people are not about it. Uh, there's mixed emotions about it. You know, over the past few years, it's kind of been a thing with, like, you know. If we don't say it kind of thing it's kind of kind of like a racism kind of thing right so I st I've, I've stopped saying it before though i was slaying it and that's the right man i was like hey <laughs> you the man yeah <laughs> what's <laughs> up uh, yeah and um it was it was thrown a lot especially when i was drunk when i was drunk dude i didn't give a dang if i knew you and we close you that person. You my guy. <laughs> we didn't have to be close. I was my saying guy. it. I was yeah. saying it. We did not have to be close at all. We had some kind of connection. Whatever it may be. If you like, if you picked uh, the same cup as I did in, in the fast food line, whatever it may be, like, you is my guy. If there was no black people around, I am saying it. <laughs> I, I said it when, when black people were around, dude. Like, it was, it was one of those things. Yeah. But, uh, one thing that I really stopped saying, one of the other reasons why I really stopped saying it is because uh, I had a really close friend here and he, he was a, he was a really uh, polite uh, vegan um, hmm. black friend. Okay. Shout out to Pata. And um, he didn't like other people saying it. So I definitely respected his boundary. Yeah. And um, so I was like, yeah, dude, like I, I just kept, I just never said it since then, to be honest. All right. You know, like, uh, you know, when you guys said, um, you know, the N-word around Jante, because I never really conversated with Jante about, you know, how he felt about it. And when y'all yeah. was saying it, and he was just, he, he, he was cool. He didn't flinch or nothing. But then I looked at him. <laughs> I would always look at him. I was like, hmm. <laughs> something feels a little off. Something? something feels a little off. So I never said it around him, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. I never, I never said yeah, it around. Yeah. I never said it around any of our black friends because I, I never asked them how they – they felt about it, and then I didn't want to, you know, really say it, and then they'd be like, "Oh shit," you know. But you know, it's, you know, the crazy thing is, like, it just felt like second nature, man. It wasn't like on purpose. It wasn't anything that was yeah. like Hateful. purposely yeah. disrespectful. Yeah, you know, um, it was just second nature, um, you know, and hundred percent, dude, dude. When I yeah, grown yeah. up as a kid, dude, <laughs> I went around with monk kids and black kids, mostly black kids. I said it all the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then, and then when you're young, you don't know about these racial barriers and anything like that. We're yeah, just homies. Yeah. We're calling each other, you know, brothers, right, is, 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 is what it was, you know. And nothing, no harm, no foul. We all homies. Yeah, nowadays it's, it's just the media. The media has exhalated the situation too far. And yeah. It's just, you know, boundaries, right? Why, why people ruin it for us? That's fair. That's fair. Because it's, uh, only, it's uh, only when it's only when I moved into a white neighborhood I stopped saying it. <laughs> that's when I uh, that's when I learned it was a bad word. <laughs> that's why they created the website uh, Emoji Man. Was it Emoji? I don't know. The 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 website the strangers the Rendex P slaying it left oh, right. Oh, oh, oh amigo, amigo, place. amigo, amigo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hilarious. That's the only place that the rednecks would be freaking slaying that word, bro. Like, oh, that's funny, man. That's funny, dude. Oh, and they're all white too. Yep. The screen's blacked out, and then they just, uh, they yeah, just yeah. saying it proudly, man. Hard R and everything, dude. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So, uh, yeah. shout out real quick. Shout out real quick to uh to Randy. He said he was spending the 10k and put it in IRA. I'm not sure what that means. And continue working. 
Uh, I'm, IRA? I'm I guess, I guess that's isn't it like a, a isn't it like a like a Roth or something? A Roth IRA, IRA, IRA? like a retirement Probably. account. Is that what it is? Yeah. Hmm. That it is, man. Wish the best for you and your 10K brother. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. I just uh, you know, I had to throw that little funny video out there because uh, I didn't know how you felt about the N word or if you still say the N word. Yeah, I, I've I've stopped saying it for, for the longest time. I'm a I'm a closet N word kind of guy, you know. You're a classic. Wait, you you're, you're a closet. closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if if Amigo? I re- if I <laughs> yeah, I'm an amigo. You know, when I need to get it out, I go on amigo or I write it down. Write that's, that's it down. Those are uh, Theo's things. Yeah, 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 like, oh, I'll yeah. probably write it down. <laughs> oh, shit, dog. Ah, that's, that's so funny, dude. I mean, oh, never think of that. Speaking of Theo, man. All right, last video. I need. I think you're, uh, you're going to uh, appreciate this one. Let's go for it. I need you to do something. Something for me. Sure, bro. Call your wife? No, 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 no. No, I need you to go back to my apartment, clear the history on my computer, and then call my wife. Seriously? Please. Please. Yeah, okay. Okay. What do you guys think it is? Like some surprise birthday thing for the wife? Or, oh my God, you think he's having an affair? Let's just hit clear history, erase his crap, and get the hell out of here. You know, he's a PC guy. Uh, my father's a PC money. guy, so uh, uh, I can handle this. Okay. Just, uh, two clicks and, uh, easy peasy. Here we go. Now here comes. Oh God! Oh God! Dude, um, I love how they went above and beyond on this on this skit, dude. This is something that that I love and treasure, man. Like, I respect a lot because like they went above and beyond. I love it. Um, that's a, that's a funny concept. I mean, I think that's like something that we've kind of thought about, but you know, didn't go to extent. You know, um, that's that's a great idea, and I'm glad they took action to it and put uh, good production into the the script. The acting so- was good. The- Placement was good, like the extra stuff, everything was phenomenal. They went above and beyond. Yeah. Oh, respect yeah. to that. All right, so what was uh what was on the uh what was on the uh on the computer? I, oh it was uh, the... it was a horse horse dating app. I've been there before. <laughs> mm-hmm. Horse dating app. Uh Whew, man. Yeah, that's how you find a mate for your horse. Oh, my They're God. compatible. For your horse. Oh man, that's it. That's 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 exactly what it is. Nothing extreme. Nothing. Uh, it's just a dating app that humans are not used to. It's a different species. So yeah. He, yeah. that was New York. I don't think there's horses in New York. Maybe he has a farm somewhere else. Maybe he's working for his dad. You know. Uh, so people crazy man yo so <laughs> story time i hope the audio is good for this story uh you invited me to do stand up for the first time uh it was a nerve wrecking i got a five minute set ready uh prepared it uh, i did a lot of practice you and i did a lot of practice i don't think we ever did practice together but we practiced on our own time and then we got there got to the yeah. venue met the owner of the place say hey you know we we're gonna do this He's doing his five. I'm doing my five. Grab a drink. Boom. Have a good time. Uh, we're, we're early, of course. We go sit down, you know, in, in our little dark corner just to kind of get the nerves out, right? You know, oh, man, you're, you're checking your phone. I'm like, ah, I'm going to check my phone. And then uh, 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 <laughs> I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I think you said something. I think you said something. Like, oh, I have, I have something. I have it on my script. I was sitting next to you. And I was like, okay, let me see the script that you have. And you pulled out your phone, and then I was like, oh. <laughs> mm, that was a recent page that you was at. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. Oh, oh shit, yeah, dude. That's so yeah. funny, dude. So I opened up my phone, right? I'm about to show you this, this, you know, my notes for the, for the five-minute set. My porn comes up, plays hella loud as fuck. 
there's like uh two people <laughs> off to the side man not that far it's probably like a good 10 feet but that volume and then the place was empty and i was just like they 100 percent heard that shit um, that's when i knew I, uh you liked it thick girls um i think there was uh i remember it was like a, i think it was like a goth looking chick yeah yeah like pretty thick yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was good. Though. It was cool. Uh, it's good to know what you. I shook your hand too, man. I shook your damn hand. Yeah. That's that's literally the only thing I can think about. Like, damn, this motherfucker. <laughs> I watched that before I came here. <laughs> <laughs> you knew what the fuck I was doing before I got here. Did I wash my hands? Fucking sick bastard! We'll, ne- we'll never know. We'll never know. Uh, but that yeah. night. You know, I did I did decently well. Um, yeah, yeah, you, that was a good set. I think we should record that set, bro. That was, that was, oh, we did. You had a good set, dude. You had a good set. My set was ass, though. I have to admit, my set was ass. Did I even go up? I don't think I even met up, did I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Oh, man, um, but your set was good. I like your set. Your set was good. Um, but uh, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a story real quick. On um, I think I think you know this story. Okay. Uh. But so uh, this is my first time traveling to California with a friend of mine. Oh, and, uh, shit, I know this. Story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it was uh, it was late at night. Uh, we we uh, we didn't get a hotel, so we decided to sleep in the car. So I uh, I was in the driver's side driver's seat, and I leaned my seat back, and the homie was like, "Hey, I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit in the back." He wasn't comfortable in the passenger, so he sat in the back, and. Um, he had his headphones on, and all of a sudden I heard like a. Remind you, we're at LA, the first time in LA, and it was kind of like a dangerous spot, you know, like yeah. a dangerous area. So like, all of a sudden I'm sleeping, and I, I hear like a like a a girl like moaning for help, and I'm like, ah, 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 and I was like, oh shit, I was like, oh shit, that's is that somebody? And and I and I turn my neck. And the homie forgot to plug in his freaking headphones in. And he... <laughs> the way he... How fast he was to just like, oh shit, like, get his shit together. And I'm like trying to plug in his <laughs> headphone real quick, bro. And this motherfucker was watching corn right behind me, less than a feet away. A man's got That's needs. Cool. A man's got needs, man. Sick. Sick. This is why you get a hotel next time, brother. <laughs> it's, it's so, so we did. So the next day we did get a hotel, right? <laughs> next day we did get a hotel, and the hotel was at the Queen Mary. If not sure if you know, but like, so as we're walking through the Queen Mary, there's a bunch of signs that says like, you may experience, uh, like spiritual stuff. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like there's like legit signs like there there might be ghosts in oh, in this God. area. Yeah. And I was like, uh no, that's not gonna happen to me, dude. Uh so I ended up sleeping <laughs> in the car. I ended up sleeping in the car that night. And he he ended up taking the, the hotel, dude. I was like, You do your thing, man. Go oh, take one off for yourself, bro. But I'm I'm not I ain't about that. I ain't about to experience no ghosts, cuz. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not today. Uh uh-uh. uh. Slept in the car. Felt great. Great decision. So yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That was it. That's the end of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, it, man. So I don't want to go deep into it. You know, so so after that moment with you, man, like I've just been so weary of showing people my phone. <laughs> Even though I'm not like I haven't watched porn in a while. I'm just like, oh shit. Just you know, what if what if the one time, right, I show them yeah 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 so so you know so so i'm gonna tell you it happened kind of recently it wasn't porn though but it was suspicious right where um uh it was it happened at work right so you know i had to show somebody something right work related uh, on my phone i pull it up right <laughs> i showed them my phone and it, it went uh, uh it, there's no porn but it was um incognito mode Right, and then so I use incognito mode to look up something, right? And then so you know, it's like kind of, what else do you use incognito mode for? You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> Are you talking about the private mode? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, so I that's was like, close enough. I was like, oh man, I was like, oh shit, dude. That's that is it. that is way close. That's way to... that that is obviously it. That was it. That was it. <laughs> You got you got like slightly lucky, but like if a guy oh, knows, God. they know. It's like okay, that's. that's oh, dude, yeah, I, yeah. It was it was a dude, man. And I just I just played it off, and I was just like, using Cognito mode. <laughs> so you know what the fuck I was doing before this moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, yep, yep. It was all there. It was all laid out. It was all laid out. <sighs> Another similar moment at work again. Work related. Needed to use my phone to show them something. Picture of Selena Gomez. <laughs> Selena Gomez. <laughs> Image leaks. Oh shit! No, no. Luckily, it wasn't none of that. It was just Selena Gomez, a, a headshot, and I just like. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. You, you still innocent. You still innocent at that point. Oh, yeah, so close, innocent. so close. I'm about to have a conversation with HR. I know it, man. I know it, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's there was point where like uh like I'll I open up my Instagram right and like the oh the first thing that pops up is like a girl in, in booty I'm like no that's not me so I'll start scrolling real quick you know what I mean oh yeah shit, that's, that's so funny man that's not me it's the algorithm it's the algorithm yeah, it's not me, man. Trust, me, to... trust me I'm not like, I'm not like that I'm not like that at all I go to Pornhub <sighs> I go to Pornhub like normal people man you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh shit, dog! That's so funny, man. Oh, woo, man! Talking about that make me, me, yeah. Talking about that make me so stressed right now. I'm sweating. Um, uh, yeah, it's one of those things. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, that's all I got, man. <laughs> well, that's a great way to end a uh, podcast, man. We um, are still gonna be doing a cancel series. By the way, guys, if you guys haven't yet seen a cancel series, it's in our. Uh, what is it? Pa- Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> and today's episode is sponsored by our Patreons. If you support the Patreon, you're supporting this podcast. So uh, make sure you guys uh, stay tuned into the cancel series. By the way, we have some cancel series episode coming up on the um, shorts as well. Are we are we posting those uh, shorts? Or the reels? Not? Yeah, we're we're gonna post the reels. I think they're okay. Cool, cool. Good. So we're gonna post those so we can let you guys a sneak peek to our the cancel series. So uh, make sure to join, and uh, it's fun. And nah, not even that, join our Discord. Uh, that's where everything happens. We communicate everything to Discord. If you guys want to reach to us personally, our Discord is the way to go about it. Yeah, anyways, uh, Peter, you got anything else to say? Thanks for tuning in every week on Thursday, Make It Rain podcast, 8 p.m. Uh, Central Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm your co-host, host Peter. Oh, one last thing, one last thing, one last thing. So uh, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to have um, a special guest come in. Uh, it's going to be a different episode. Uh, we're not sure which episode exactly yet, but uh, we're talking to a few guesses that are going to come in. So we're pretty excited about that. So I uh, look forward to the next episode, guys. We'll see you guys next Thursday. Peace, y'all. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We love you. How oh, did you... Uh... I guess there's nobody in uh, the chat, eh?